Welcome back for another exciting tutorial. Today we're going to discuss design templates and how we can use them and launch them uh, so we can then take these these awesome to templates that we've uh, been provided for us to use and uh, basically plug them into you know an existing property or or existing scene. So the first thing we're going to do is demonstrate here. Uh, I'm in the software now and I've taken the same house we've been using for the tutorials and I've kind of modified it a bit. I've taken the landform away just so we kind of have a pretty generic existing um, you know home here. Uh, and what we're going to do is you can see I have pretty much a blank slate and that's just that's perfect it's just because I want to demonstrate how if I was to plug in or launch um, one of these design templates that have already been created for me you know this is kind of how I would get going on it. Um, okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go via the internet to visionscape.com here and now how we're going to get to these design templates are by clicking on blog and you can see featured design template and along the blog here we have these categories design templates featured articles landscape design so we're going to click on of course design template and you can see that there's you know a bunch to choose from in fact they update every week so basically if you were you know you could go through these and pick one that you mean you know you might think that goes good with something existing or maybe you already have a design or, or an existing landscape but you want to see something new or you know how would that look well that's the beauty of of course you know basically 3d 3d design in these templates so let's say we choose patty reflection design template there's a brief um, basically intro to what it is here so we're going to click on that as you can see it brings us basically to you know a property here so patty reflection design template click on that again we have screenshots photos movies and plans with some dimensions on there as well so you can kind of get an idea of you know what you're getting yourself into here go to screenshots and we can actually scroll through a few different different shots to see you know again what it's going to look like and how how we're going to kind of plug this into an existing property that you have already so then we're going to go launch let's so click launch choose your application of course virtual property architect okay so you can see now I've, I've of course I've pre-downloaded this so it, it did say save locally um, so it might take a few more more minutes on your end but don't don't be worried that's okay okay so you can see we have this here now you're probably wondering well how are we going to get this into you know my existing property that I've been I've been working on right or or our, our tutorial house that we have created so what I'm going to do I'm going to edit select all and then I'm actually going to group all these selected objects okay and then as you can see now it's been grouped right now I'm going to control C copy I'm going to go into my template design that I've been working on here I'm going to create a new layer real quick. I'm going to call this maybe template design one. Okay. And then we're going to paste. And as you can see, the whole template has been brought in basically just as is, like so. Now, what we can do is we can even go into plan view here so we can see that it's still selected. You can kind of get an idea of, of you know, kind of use some creative basically insight or something to where you want to kind of hook this up you can see there's obviously there's steps here so we're going to rotate this whole template we've dragged in and we're going to modify it just a bit so we can hook it right up to this existing house that I have here that we've created by using the plan view here you can see that you know, this is my existing structure here and here's a template that I've imported or, or downloaded into into the scene so as you can see, I said that there's steps here. So I know that you know here's my my patio door here basically. I kind of want to put this somewhere in the middle of the yard, and we're going to create a nice pathway off of our porch. It's going to go right to connect this to what we've been working on. So as you can see, it kind of lines up. And I'm going to delete a couple of. Well, actually, we don't really have to delete much. This is, and we can also select this template we draw in, and you can ungroup it by hitting the ungroup button. So now you can see that it's back into you know being one big piece for us. So I'm going to go back into my plan view, and I'm just going to simply create from my door here 
basically a landing, something pretty generic here, patio landing, maybe like so, maybe about five feet wide, 16 feet, come back in, go back to perspective, now you can see I have this landing here, now what that's going to do is kind of going to be our first step into in now making a patio to connect up to our steps here. So we're going to go back to our patio tool. And we're just simply going to draw something up generic here again. It's going to connect us to our patio here. And come back down. And then connect back up. And we can double click on our patio we've created. We can control, hold control down, select these points and make them curved again. So they kind of fit a little bit nicely into here. And kind of modify that a bit. So now you can see that all I've had to do is basically create this pathway in this landing. And now I already have this beautiful template with plants, you know, water feature, table in there, all ready to go, just like that. And if you wanted to, you could even add some more plantings around it to kind of make it blend in a little bit better. But how simple was that? So we can end today's session with just a reminder, again, that via Visionscape.com's website here under Design Templates, there are many more to choose from. And basically, with a little bit of, you know, uh, design inspiration or, or, or a vision, you can literally take these awesome design templates with plants and materials already ready to go and, and, and basically just put them onto your existing property or starting with a design. It's a really great feature, and I, and I really urge you to try these out. Thanks again, guys. Bye.